Hi and welcome to Interfacing with ONTAP. There are multiple ways of managing your cluster, and we will have a look at a few of them. We'll check System Manager, which is the browser user interface. We'll look at the cluster shell, which is the most important shell for day-to-day -day administration. And then there is the node shell and the system shell. These are less important for us at this stage. So let's have a look at these different interfaces. There's a browser user interface which is available by default on the operating system itself. So the only thing you need to do is open up a browser and connect to the cluster management IP and you'll be able to graphically manage your cluster. The official name is On Command System Manager or they're changing it to System Manager. Well, this training does not lean very heavily on this interface because the functionality of it keeps changing. So we're going to rely on the command line interface a little bit more. Since the introduction of this training, we've logged into our cluster a couple of times and we typed some commands. You should realize that you're working in a shell when typing commands. This shell is called the cluster shell, and it's a shell that was developed by NetApp to make working on the command line easier. It's a very intuitive shell to work with. Now the cluster shell knows three modes, the admin mode, the advanced mode, and the diag mode. By default, you're always in the admin mode. So when you log into the cluster shell, you'll be in the admin mode. Your shell prompt is always your cluster name, followed by two colons, and then a greater than sign. So if your cluster is named cluster1, your prompt will be cluster1, two colons, and a greater than sign. However, if you want to access advanced or even diagnostic commands, you can change modes. Changing modes means that you get more commands at your disposal. NetApp advises to be careful in these modes because you can inadvertently destroy things. To change to the advanced mode, you type set advanced and diac will require set diac or set d. Your prompt will change to cluster name, two colons and then an asterisk, followed by the greater than sign. So to make a long story short, you can switch between the modes by simply typing set and then the mode you want to go to from any of the three modes. The cluster shell is for managing the entire cluster. The other two shells are for managing the individual nodes in your cluster. Now the node shell gives access to a set of commands that were used in a previous version of ONTAP, often referred to as 7 mode. What you have to keep in mind is that the node shell forces you to choose a node so you will actually enter a node and everything you do in there will be on that node only. The same goes for the system shell. The system shell will give you access to Unix on the node that you choose. NetApp strongly discourages you to enter this shell without expert guidance. Now how do you get to these shells? The node shell is easy. Run the following command. Node run, node, and then the cluster node name. The system shell needs some pre-work. You have to unlock the Diag user and give that user a password. Also, you have to be in the Diag mode to access that system shell. Again, going to the node shell and or the system shell is not a common administrative action you will perform on a regular basis, but it's good to know about them just in case. And in the next section, we'll have a look at this. We'll see how to navigate the cluster shell. We'll pay a short visit to the node shell, as we will to the system shell, and finally, we will connect using System Manager.